Hey everyone, my name is Kevin and welcome to the Overthinker channel. This weekend, Nerdland Festival is taking place, which is Belgium's biggest open-air science festival. And for the first time ever, I'll have my booth there with three of my machines. The first one is of course my virtual pinball machine. This has been my biggest project to date, so I'm really proud of it and of course I have to bring it along. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see how I built this, here's a link to the playlist. The second machine I'll be bringing is my second biggest project to date, which has been this arcade machine. It's super fun, so of course I have to bring it along. And then finally, for people to compare real pinball versus virtual pinball, I'll also be bringing a real pinball from my collection, which will be this Ninja Turtles one. It's a modern pinball made by Stern in 2020, so it's got loads of stuff in it and it will be a blast to play. Everything is still in my shed though, as you can see, so let's pack everything up and get moving. <laughs> The booth is set up, I'm standing right near the entrance, so I think it's a really good spot. And it looks really cool with all the, the circular truss here. So yeah, let's see what the day brings. So it's day two now and saw a real pinball machine that the rubbers of the slingshots are starting to break right here uh, on both sides so I'll replace those just to be safe that nothing breaks today. I just noticed something else on the virtual pinball machine as well. The intake fan really, really dirty. As you can see right here, a lot of dust has built up, so let's take care of that.
Wow, what an amazing weekend that was. I had two very long days, so I'm pretty tired and everything is still a big mess here as you can see, but I'm so grateful and so satisfied. I still can't believe that I got to have a booth at such a large event. There were 10,000 people each day, so 20,000 in total, and my booth was always packed. There was queues on each machine all the time, and there were people that even waited for more than 30 minutes to play a single game on one of my machines. It was just so much fun to see all the people play on my machines and having a lot of fun. Some people probably even playing pinball for the first time in their life, so yeah, that's really a satisfying feeling. Apart from my booth, there was just so much to do. There were three tents in total with all kinds of activities, just like mine but with a different theme, like jungle or space and robots, and then of course the computer and games zone which I was in. Um, and apart from those tents, there was I think five tents with different sizes, where all kinds of talks and podcasts or comedy even were done. So yeah, very interesting and a lot of fun. I also met so many great people, people with questions about the machine or how I built them or just wanted to know things about me or what I do and it's just so much fun to talk to everyone. Big shout out also to the entire organization and crew because I had a great time as an exhibitor. Uh, there was catering, there was separate parking, there was a shuttle bus, so yeah, everything that we needed and the entire festival was just organized so so well. I'm definitely going back next year, even if I don't have a booth, it was just so much fun there, I can't wait to go back. Alright, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it, I definitely did. If you did, please leave a like or a comment, or even subscribe, it's much appreciated, and I hope to see you in the next video.